Today I want to talk about a new lucid dreaming mask called the Somni. Now in the past there have been many different lucid dreaming masks and not all of them have been that impressive. To be honest a lot of them haven't really worked and there's, especially on Kickstarter, a bad history with lucid dreaming masks that seem to just fund really quickly and then not really deliver. You know they take a long time to make and even when they do eventually finally get around to delivering them and sending them to you guys they don't really work. And this has been the case throughout history for the last few years, certainly, but the Somni mask I'm quite excited about. And this is a very different type of lucid dreaming mask because of the way it works. So I'm gonna get into how this works right now. So the Somni mask looks a bit like this. And as you can see, it's kind of a comfortable sleep mask style thing. And then it has this kind of addition on one of the eyes. And the idea is that it tracks your REM eye movements, your rapid eye movements during your REM sleep. Now the way it works is that it detects your REM sleep and then sends you kind of visual, visual and audio clues or cues. And the way it does this is by detecting your REM sleep with this kind of black box here, realizing that you're dreaming, and then sending you audio cues through the headphones and then visual cues through the mask. Now, what makes this different to every other lucid dreaming mask so far at least, or at least with a couple of exceptions, is the fact that it can detect your REM sleep accurately. Not many other masks have been able to do this. And by, by actually detecting your REM sleep accurately, it's able to then send signals at the right time, which in theory, and I'll get onto how it works in a minute, could make you lucid pretty likely. Like it's, it's quite likely that this will work. All right, so here's the technical specifications, but before we, actually before we get into that, I just wanna give you a kind of disclosure here. Okay, so firstly, you there are no guarantees with lucid dreaming technology okay and especially with the track record that there is with this thing uh, with this with this kind of industry there's no guarantees that this will work and there's no guarantees it's, it's going to be reliable okay so we don't at this point we don't really know if it's going to work or not all we can do is speculate and say i think this will work i think this won't work and here's why so now with that being said let's get into the technical specifications here so it the whole the main product essentially is this kind of box that goes onto one of the eyes of the mask like this and the idea is that this is able to detect the eye movement and work out basically when you're in rem sleep and because it's able to do that it's able to send you signals in the form of led flashing lights and sound at the perfect time which will enable you to actually be able to lucid dream. So in that sense it's pretty exciting. I mean this is a kind of revolutionary device as far as I'm aware. I mean there might be one, maybe one or two really old devices that could do this with the REM eye movement tracking but I certainly can't think of any. Uh, if you can think of any let me know in the comments which one can do this or has done this. So the battery life seems to be charged via micro USB uh, with a kind of like a mini battery that goes in here. Uh, they claim it's really comfortable and from the looks of the pictures it looks fairly comfortable you know just like a typical sleep mask or eye mask that you would wear. The only difference is that one of the eyes obviously has this attachment here and they've obviously included the headphones which link up to this and then it detects when you're in REM sleep and then plays you some signals. The device itself looks pretty simple. I mean, you have an on and off button, a micro USB, a headphone jack, and then the actual eye movement sensor there. And then this kind of, this box device fits nicely into this little pocket here uh, to protect it and make sure there's no sharp edges or anything. Now, what I like about this mask is that the design, they've put the kind of the most bulky part on the front, which is perfect because not many people sleep face down. So you're actually, in theory, gonna have a comfortable night's sleep because there's no, apart from the headphones, there's nothing really, in the side of your head that is going to cause discomfort when you're sleeping so that's a really good you know kind of design of this mask so the visuals look pretty good the theory and the kind of principle behind it is kind of sound i mean to track rem eye movement sleep and then play signals during rem sleep to kind of trigger and uh, give you clues that you might be dreaming that's a pretty good idea now i want to now go into the main drawback of this device and what what could be a problem for the device and this is not just a problem with this one, but any device, any lucid dreaming mask that aims to play visual or audio cues in the hopes of making you lucid has this one major drawback. And that is, what if you don't notice the cues? What if you don't actually realize that you're being shown flashing lights or that you, whatever, you know? And it really just, and it really just comes down to practicing and training yourself to recognize the cues. Some people on Reddit have kind of summarized this, especially this user here, Bad Brownie. They said, the lucid dreaming mask is kind of like a slimming pill. If all you do is wear the mask, you won't get any results. You need to do the exercises. And this kind of summarizes what I'm about to say really well. Unless you practice lucid dreaming techniques and train your mind and, and you know your subconscious to look for and recognize the cues, then it probably won't work.
so you need to really be aware of that and just bear in mind that it's not going to you're not going to put this thing on and instantly have lucid dreams you need to kind of practice that being said the technique and the principle behind it does make a lot of sense as you can see from this article in psychology today external stimulation applied during REM sleep has been shown or used to trigger lucid dreaming during REM sleep an external cue could be presented to the dreamer and this could trigger a lucid dream the most popular form of external stimulation is a sleep mask that produces light stimuli so it's certainly an interesting idea now there is actually a video which I will link to in the description and I'll also link to a place by the way where you can get 51% discount on this Somni mask if you want to pre-order it and just check it out. That link will be in the description or you can just go to howtolucid.com forward slash Somni. Uh, again links will be in the description but you can kind of see a lot more about it on the page that I will link to because there's a lot to bear in mind here okay they're kind of explaining the basis of lucid dreaming why you'd want to learn it we kind of get that stuff right what we really want to know is does this thing this device here actually track your REM sleep and induce lucid dreams if this if, if the answer to that question is yes if this device can accurately track REM sleep then this will work okay the only thing the only drawback like I've said is whether you will actually recognize the cues the the uh, audio and the visual stimuli and whether you will train yourself or put in the effort to train yourself to recognize those cues. If you don't, nothing will happen. If you do, this could be, and I don't want to speak too soon, but this could be one of the best lucid dreaming masks or the most hopeful and promising lucid dreaming masks so far. So if you are interested in learning more, you can go to the link in the description. And like I said, you will get a discount at the moment. I think for the next 20 days or so, you can get that discount. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love to hear what you think about Lucid Dreaming Masks or about this one in particular, because this one is, in my opinion, quite different to previous masks. But we'll, I guess we'll have to wait and see. And as soon as this is released, I will be reviewing it physically. I will be testing it out for a month and then making another video uh, just going into detail about my experiences with it. But for now, I'm pretty hopeful about this. I have a good feeling about this one.